In a public safety alert tonight, a mid-Missouri woman says her car is totaled after an electronic cigarette battery reportedly burst into flames and caught her car on fire. Take a look at this. This is the inside of her vehicle. ABC 17's Lindsay Burning spoke to the woman today. She joins us now. And Lindsay, these fires are often caused by those same type of batteries that are in the Samsung smartphones that are being recalled now. Yeah, that's right, Marissa. We've been talking about those Galaxy Note 7 phones that are being recalled for combusting and starting some fires because of their batteries. The U.S. Fire Administration says those lithium ion batteries are also in e cigarettes and have been known to explode. This is where the electronic cigarette was when it caught on fire. Callaway County resident Janie Lewis says her son woke her up early last Wednesday morning saying her car was on fire. He had went to go to the bathroom and saw all the lights flashing on the car and he ran out there to check and it was on fire. The whole dash and everything was melting. Lewis says the fire department looked through the car with a thermal gun and determined the blaze was caused by an electronic cigarette. On Tuesday night, I replaced my electronic cigarette that was misfiring. It, it was firing all by itself. And um, I accidentally forgot it in the car. If it would have been in my house, um, the inside of a house would have went up a lot faster than the car. And I have three kids in there. Last year, the National Fire Protection Agency recorded 15 e cig fires and explosions, likely caused by a failing lithium ion battery. 12 sent people to get medical treatment. Just a melted mess. Lewis says the incident hasn't stopped her from using e cigarettes, but says it's made her hyper aware. I'm constantly thinking now, I just put it there. It's in my purse. What if it catches fire? Now I'm constantly thinking now, there needs to be a way out. Now, Lewis didn't want to say where she bought the e-cigarette, but says she called the store to notify them of the problem. She just says she doesn't want this to happen to anyone else. You know, Lindsay, this is pretty scary. Is there anything else e-cig users can do to prevent something like this from happening? Well, Marissa, I called the fire department today, and they weren't available to talk to me today, but they did tell me uh, that if you are an e-cigarette user, to look in your user manual, because a lot of these batteries weren't charged properly. So it recommends reading the user manual and making sure you don't overcharge those batteries. Okay, good information, Lindsay. Thanks.